Hi, Rev Candy. This is Sonia again, and I'm going to show you how to take a word and make it into a transparent background so that you can add pictures in back of it. This is a cool feature that I have learned to do over many years of being on Rap Candy and reading other tutorials on there. Today it's a video tutorial, so you will be happy to know that. And I'm going to use a photo that I found on the internet just as a sample. You can use whatever photo you have or whatever photo the customer gives you. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my Rap Candy program, go to Create New, and I always like to make my width 8 inches. And then my height is going to be almost half that, which is 3.5. That just gives me a little bit more room to work with. The font I'm going to use today is called Boulder, as in Boulder, Colorado and I'm going to capitalize all four letters. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose the bolder font. And once I get that, I'm gonna choose bold, and I'm gonna take it up to about a size 48, and see that's still not big enough. So I'll go ahead and keep going there until I get it to where I can work with it, about a 95. Okay, so right now we just have the word baby, and it's in my box, and I'm going to go ahead and save this as an image, as a JPEG image, on high quality, with the resolution being 300, and I'm just going to save it to my desktop as baby, JPEG, JPG, JPEG, because we're going to use that again. Now we're going to get rid of this first one in the Wrap Candy program. We're going to go to Add Image. And we're going to choose it from our desktop. And we're going to bring it in. And then, of course, we have to decrease the image size because it's just way too big. What I like to do is I like to crop around the immediate word so that I'm not using all of this extra white background that the JPEG has. And once I've done that, I go ahead and move it down and I get rid of my original JPEG. And now you can see that it's, again, baby, but it's smaller in size. You can notice from the, the black squares that are around it. You have to save this as a transparency this time. And the resolution is going to be 300. And this is going to be baby PNG. Okay, it's very important. Because this next step that we do, we're going to change all of these black letters to clear transparencies. And we're going to move that over. So now we're going to go ahead and import the baby PNG on our, from our desktop. We're going to decrease the image size so that it fits inside our box. And we're going to go ahead and shrink it down a little bit. Now, if you notice, I have baby again in the box. I'm going to get rid of this other one that I had in the Wrap Candy program, and I'm left with this one here. Now, this is where it gets a little complicated, but if you remember to write this down on a cheat sheet or something, and you do all of your transparency letters this way, you will never ever go wrong. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose the box up here that says, Is Transparent. Now, it does something funky, but we'll get rid of that here in just a minute. The transparent color is not going to be black. It's going to be dark gray, which is the fourth one over in your basic color palettes. You click on that, and you hit OK. Now it changes back to black, but we also go down here to the darker color, and we make the darker color black, which is the first one in the color selection palette. Click that, hit OK. Lighter color is going to be the second one up from the white, the gray that's 25%, and we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to hit OK on the transparent colors. Now it's done something funky. Do you see that? See the light, light gray uh, lines that surround baby? Well, you won't be able to see those when we get done. So make sure now that you save this as a transparency and make your resolution 300. We're going to name this baby trans. Okay? Now we're going to go ahead and go up to file, go to new, and we're going to make a standard candy wrapper. Okay? 
now we have the big box for our candy wrapper. I'm going to go ahead and find my template first that allows me to show where my um, uh, sides are supposed to be, my, my boxes, everything like that. So give me just a second here. I got to look for it in my huge amount of templates. It should be close to the bottom. What I'm going to have to do here in the future is move a bunch of these that I'm using all the time to my desktop because it's a little bit easier for me. And it is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just move this over and then bring this up so that it lines up with the bottom of the red box. Now we're there. Now I'm going to go ahead and import an image that I pre-selected out of one of my uh, many folders in commercial use stuff and I'm going to use pink because we're going to use a little baby girl this is pink and chocolate and uh, cream colored butterflies and of course again we only have to move it up to the bottom of or to the top of the red line this side doesn't matter because we're not printing out to here so we're going to go ahead and make two rectangular boxes that are going to fit inside of here Remember, the first tutorial that I ever showed you was how to make an SOE. And I'm going to go ahead and make the contour color white. And the fill color is also going to be white. We can always go back and, and make more uh, borders going around this and everything. But we're going to go ahead and keep this at white for right now. And then I'm going to hit my Control C, Control V. For some reason, Wrap Candy does not like to work with me the first time I do that anytime I open up a program. So I have to do it the long way the first time, and then it'll allow me to control, to copy and paste every time after that. I don't know what the deal is. But anyway, okay, so now you have your white boxes where the front and the back of the wrapper are going to be. Now we're going to find our baby trans, which should be on my desktop. And I'm just going to choose the baby trans and bring it in. I'm going to move it off to the side because we don't need it just yet. Now I'm going to get the image of the baby that I found on the internet. And I really liked this one. It was just so cute and, and just everything about it was just adorable. It looks like she's actually wrapped in a little slipper. But... I went ahead and chose this one just because it works well with my background. So now I'm going to crop this image about the same size as my wrapper front box. So when you get it where you want it, you want to go ahead and place it over the image that you have and click to crop. And there you have it. And now you move this back over where it needs to be. And if you notice, I'll go ahead and uh, zoom in here really quick. I have this baby image less than an eighth of an inch. I know you can't tell in the Wrap Candy program, but can you see this tiny little area right here between the back border and the image itself? Just gives you a little tiny bit of, of, of uh, room to work with. So now we're going to go ahead and, and zoom back out. I'm going to get rid of this photo because I don't need it anymore. And now I'm going to go to my baby transparency that I actually imported. And you're going to have to decrease the image and then go ahead and move it to the front and then bring it over right on top of the other box. And we're going to have to go in a little bit more just so that it will line up, but go ahead and bring it down and I'll go ahead and zoom in again so you can see what I'm doing. So I've got one ahead and lined up my white. Uh, area of the baby word with the sides and the top and then I'm just going to go ahead and bring it up to match and there's the first one and then down here you can put in any nutritional facts that you want or introducing or whatever and then I'm going to go ahead and just really quickly add another rectangular rectangle around the top of this and I'm going to actually choose this dark chocolate color with my color wand and make the border the same color so that the 
the uh, box kind of stands out. And then you go ahead and move it to where you need to. And save it as your new image. And that's how you do it. It's as easy as that. So I hope you learned something. Uh, try to use fonts that are really thick in size as far as from the outer border to the inner border go. Um, you can even go a step further and color all of these a transparent color by filling in. That will be another tutorial that I show you. But I hope you learned something with this, uh, with this tutorial here. And I was glad to do it. Thank you.